Hello everybody, Izumi here, and I'm running Skier Near Decimates S4. Um, first off, it's going to be Rapunzel up front with race flag and a turban and boots and a purification staff. Second is going to be Elizabeth with more of the kind of the same thing. Um, you don't really need the Easter wand. It's kind of just there for me for filler. The strategy doesn't require that kind of stuff. Um, more just trying to keep her alive and Krista's only purpose is to be there to provide Elizabeth and Rapunzel with um, Soul Spring. So third is going to be Fairy Lufflet who is being used for the Reflect. And here's her gear. The chance batons are nice because of the skill gauge up. It's the opposite of the race flag. It does the back heroes instead of the front heroes. And then the last, Envy, who is also there for her reflection. And the only weird thing here, you do not need to use a dark spiral on Envy. It's not going to really help with this strategy at all. And mommy's gone because of the skill gauge up to the two highest, which um, you want to make sure that that's going to be Envy and Lufflet. So here we go. McKenna Staff Skirnir is considered magic and is human and is grounded. His action skill, Pos ex Exrixis, I guess that's how you say that. Um, 160% light magic attack damage and holy chain for three turns to to two nearest enemies and the three farthest enemies. All of his stats excluding HP are 30% up for two turns to self. Holy chain applies only to Aesir and Elves and it also ignores shields. His auto skill light magic attack damage and holy chain corrupt for three turns and remove barrier to all enemies. Holy Chain applies to Aesir, Yotun, and Beast and Corrupt and Remove Barrier applies to all races. He also has Holy Drive Field and Magnetic Field and Holy Drive Support 20% up to self. The most effective element is Dark but my strategy completely ignores that. Um, the Automata I guess that's what they're called, are light magic attack and the magic row of them are light magic attack and light wound for three turns to all enemies and light magic attack counter attack for three turns to skier near. So, and light wound applies to all races. Um, its characteristics are nullifies damage but susceptible to shadow bound, shade, and petrify. So if you go with the strategy of trying to actually kill those and skier near, then you are going to have to hit the automata with Shadowbound, Shade, or Petrify. And the ranged row of automata has Frenzy, Stone Skin, and Berserk, and Quick for three turns to skier near. That's a lot of buffs. And also you have to hit those with Shadowbound, Shade, and Petrify. So there's not really much I can say. This I can't do the other strategy for this. I can only do the reflect strategy. Basically what you got to do is time Envy and Lufflet skill to hit and reflect Skirnir skill. So in my observation he does about 3 to 4 attacks before he does his skill. And those also include auto attacks, which is when he jumps up in the air and spins his staff around. There, he just did it twice. Now he's going to use his skill. Sometimes he'll do it twice and he'll do an auto attack in between. But if he does his skill twice, chances are he's going to do his skill next. The auto skill. So if he jumps up in the air twice, then he's going to do his that thing right there. And that's really all it is, is a matter of timing. Sometimes I clear them with zero seconds, sometimes I have 30 seconds left. It just depends on how good I get my timing and how often he starts spamming his attacks. Personally, I would rather him just keep doing his auto skill, auto skill, and then skill because 
it makes the timing come out perfect for me to use NV skill. And like I said, there's not really much else to say. Um, if if you want to do it the other way, you have to use like um, Dyna or Cortana or Agent Cherry and then try to crystal crush basically the automata. I don't have Cortana or Sherry, so it's that's not going to happen for me. You could use other healers like Sorticia or Noah, but make sure Noah's in the front too. And you could also probably get away with using Poel as filler if you have only have two healers. I'm, I'm running three just because it's a little bit easier and Envy and Lufflet is enough to kill them. But once you get your timing down, he becomes really predictable, so. Just fight him a few times and pay attention to what what his animations are, and then you can predict when he's going to do his um, action skill instead of his auto skill, and then proc your reflect right before that. And had three seconds left, but that's not bad. A win is a win. So we'll check out the damage here. And there you go. Envy and Lufflet, number one and number two. So